Welcome back to Broken Triad. I've come at the last minute. Well. It's heard someone there, but I guess it doesn't matter. Let's, let's make some sawdust from this root. Pretty lucky there's a very rare root that would have to be growing in the area. And there was a wood chipper conveniently nearby that made turn into sawdust. Oh, am I going to need something put under there? I mean, it kind of feels like I should, right? Or I just picked up with my hands. Fine, I just pick up the sawdust and put it in my pockets. Problem solved. Still don't know how to get to that office, actually. I wonder, is this a stupid idea? Apparently not. Apparently it's our group bonus. It's not a stupid idea, but it's not a very useful one either. Okay. So we have, I think, all the ingredients for the recipe. Blah, blah, all the herbs, our blood. Wait, what was the sawdust first for? What do we even need that sawdust? Oh, the sawdust was to be dropped into the fire to activate the circle of safety or something. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, we've got all the stuff we need there for that. Okay, where am I going? East. Again. Guess we're going back to the cemetery. <clears throat> Sorry, mate. Oh, shit. He's still after me. Help, officer! Somebody's chasing me with a sword! It's the mad beheader! No? You're not gonna help. Where's my flash bombs? Where's my flash bombs? You guys need to be more careful. I've only got one grave left. I've only got one spare grave. I can only afford to knock out one more person. All right. Quietly. All right. Let's go uh, brew some shit. Herbs. All right. Our blood. Put the chalice in when it's boiling. Chalice, 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 chalice. Come on, somewhere here. And just take it out again, alright. Alice Nightshade po Potion. Um, it seems like a dangerous thing to leave for somebody else to find, you know? But, okay. Probably done in there now.
I guess I need to head east now to what cathedral? This is another thing I happen to read up on. It's a key on the ledge there, which is the key to the blacksmith's place. So you know what? We're gonna go visit the blacksmith. And return his head. Just seems impolite not to. Work journal. Mr. Garrett, the hooded guy who had wanted a replica of that ugly sculpture, came and picked it up today. It's not often the clients pay in advance, and it's even rarer that they provide me with the raw material. Thanks to the detailed schematics Mr. Garrett had provided me with, I was able to create a fairly accurate reproduction. It was interesting working with the block he had given me, though I'm still not sure what kind of stone it was. I asked Mr. Garrett today, but instead of giving me a straight answer, he just grinned and pointed upwards. Hmm. Ah. Bye, mate. Oh, you've got the same symbol carved on your chest. I see, yeah, that was uh, also painted on the walls of my place. I'm not sure how you're supposed to have found that key there. Maybe, you, maybe you've seen it. I didn't even know there was a window there. It wasn't really a place I could see it from. So I would never have found my way in here. Otherwise, all right. So, to White Cathedral. Ah, dang it. Coming this way. No, he's going past. That's okay. Alright, so let's recheck our instructions just to be safe. Where are we? Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's okay. Drink the potion in a secluded place. Must stand in a protective circle. Okay, so. Activate it. Find fresh fruits here. Yeah, make sprinkle the sawdust into the fire behind the circle. When the flames have changed their color, stand in the center and drink the nightshade potion. All right. Feels like uh, an important event. 
Did I even check what was up this side of the cathedral? Yeah, I did. I guess that's a protective circle. I'm not sure the Hammerites are going to be too happy to see what you've done here, Mr. Leonard, but, um... Sealed the rest of the place off. It's a shame because uh, I'm always usually a lot of loot, you know, in valuables. Alright, sawdust. Okay, the flames have changed colour. Where's my <clears throat> chalice? Om nom nom. What? Walking on the ceiling? <sighs> What's going on? Okay. I thought I might be able to read the note, but uh, it did not seem to be the case. You're a hammer, you're not a sword. I remember that from my uh, vision at the start of the mission, too the hammer. What is going on? I take it the sculptor wasn't too curious about the strange material you gave him to work with. Kill him all the same. We cannot take any risks now that we are so close. The inventor went to the museum today to make the adjustments I had suggested to him. You can get rid of him in your usual fashion as well. I read the pages that you wrote to yourself. If only the keepers would find me. Nice way to put it. Your host might not be the type to keep a diary, but seeing his own handwriting will be enough to make Garrett trust my words like a mindless dog. Leave the pages on this table so you'll easily find them when I direct you to the cellar. Remember, you must not take possession of Garrett that night. Only if you let him be himself will he have the required thieving skills to do the museum job. Once he has placed the Moonstone into the energy field, I'll wait for him in his apartment. He will prepare the potion according to my directions and drink it in the White Cathedral. The focus circle will hold you within Garrett's body long enough for me to arrive. And then you'll finally be able to join your other half within me. You me for a fool all along, are you, Leonard? How was your near-death experience, Garrett? 
Did you see the false light? Of course you did. You flew right into it. You have my gratitude. You have opened the inner chamber for me, and now your last task is at hand. The demon inside you is eager to leave your body. Narso wants to join his other half, the one that is residing in me. I am his chosen host, and I shall be the one to restore him to his full glory. Come to me. Come to me. Is that a good thing? <laughs> well, I'm in the fire, I think I got with that. Chimney. No, I guess not. I mean, I guess we're at the crematorium. Yeah. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, all that. What do we do now? Yeah, I guess following Keeper Lemon's instructions wasn't the best thing to do, was it? You've completed everything, go back to your apartment. Yeah? That's really still all I should be doing? Aren't bigger things at stake here, like stopping Mr. Demon from doing whatever it was he wanted? Can we turn off the energy field if we're quick? Alright, that's where they threw me in from. See, that's the way in, not the way out. Garrett, I managed to deactivate the furnace so you can make it out alive. Unfortunately, I cannot wait for you to regain consciousness. My name is Keeper Aleph, and I've been following Keeper Leonard for several months now, trying to uncover what he's after. I was hoping to arrive here before he'd opened the portal, but it took me a long time to track you two down and piece together Leonard's plan. I can't go into details right now. All I ask of you is to follow me into the museum. A portal is opened in the central hall. A portal you unwittingly helped to construct tonight. Leonard, or however he calls himself now, already stepped through it. And if nobody stops him, we're going to face a new dark age very soon. There is a reason why so many deceased linger restlessly in our world. And Leonard has become part of the cause. I need your help, as I probably won't stand a chance against Leonard on my own. I asked the Keeper Council for assistance, but to their eyes I am just an over-eager librarian, and they'd rather reinterpret the prophecies for the umpteenth time than actively do anything. I know you don't like being told what to do, especially from a Keeper, but consider the negative effects on your business if Leonard did to the whole world what he's done to our people tonight. Just step outside and you'll see what I mean. Keeper Aleph. Yes, be careful! You are in a crematorium, and I felt a certain unrest that's befallen the place. Leonard wanted to burn you alive to make a slave out of you. To keep you safe, I'm going to lock this door behind me. I don't like the looks of this. Definitely there's an unrest about the place, isn't there? Ash man. Oh, 
Oh, he goes back. Okay. I wonder if he can be stabbed. Shall we try? Try backstabbing. Oh, it seems oblivious to uh stabbings. So then what? He's pretty blind. Oh, there's more of them. How my quarters key? The learner's checklist. Convince the hammerheads to lend us the White Cathedral. Talk to the inventor, interchange the spectral receptor settings. Move the three portal foci into the secret room inside Garrett's basement. They won't be needed until the thief has placed the moonstone in the museum and reactivated the energy field around it. The stone will take some time to absorb sufficient lunar energy. Three portal foci. Make sure the unpossessed Garrett doesn't discover that the real sleeper has hardly any collector's value. Wait until Garrett has successfully opened the inner chamber and turned from his near-death experience. Find the Jarawarek on the other side and break the triad. Wait, the real sleeper has hardly any collector's value? Then why did it have such intense museum security? You can see a little better from this side. Who's opening doors on me and why can I hear them from down here? Oh, there's an upper floor. I see. These things are very hard to track because they make no footstep noises. I guess they do have some kind of hissing of ash sounds.
but there's not one waiting right here for me. Guess not. Well, this place seems a little safer. And they've done the reflected geometry brick. Oh, it unlocks the front door, okay. So there's some secret. Hang on a second. It's not affecting the reflection. Reflection is fake. Um, are you okay, dude? I guess placing those guys on graves was prescient. Don't know about that poor fellow, but um, yeah, we have something bad going on in the scout there, don't we? Why is it always swirling clouds? Okay. Into the bottle and museum. Hopekeeper Alf isn't playing games with you either. I mean, all there is left to do is get back to the museum. I mean, I guess the quick way to the museum is, is straight in through the uh, back door here. It's all safe. I don't know what's quite going on. Well, that's the ticket man, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Do I have to enter from above? Leap of faith, I guess so. Can I take the taco with me? Well, <laughs> here goes nothing. Mission one. Brooke tried. We <laughs> got very little loot, but uh, without loot goal, uh, let's think one secret out of eight. There must be a whole ton of hidden stuff. I got some vague hints of some other hidden stuff in uh, when I had to look up stuff, but I tried my best to avoid learning anything concrete that I didn't know about. Uh, with the exception of the blacksmith's key, I did look for where the blacksmith's key was because I wanted to return the head. Uh, but yeah, there's at least there's at least a couple of large uh, secret areas that I had no idea existed that I caught a vague reference to and did not read up how to find. So you guys don't do this as a walkthrough, you know, showing everything. I do this as this is me playing the mission for the first time, discovering what I discover, and not discovering what I don't discover. Well. Meet up with Keeper Alf on the other side of the portal. With a bit of luck, he'll know what needs to be done. I mean, look, it was taking instructions from Keepers that got me here in the first place. You, know, you think it's going to fix things? 
Doesn't seem likely that the arse will just go away and leave you alone. Put an end to his existence. Yeah, okay. Okay, if you manage to survive, find a way back home. Tempest Isle, huh? This seems like an excellent place to end the episode. So, uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, see you here for the next part.